I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday to James Cross. Girls Varsity Bowling fell to claim on 1823 to 2290. High individual scores for Madison McGaffick, 181. Delaney Riggle with 172. Allison Danver with a 147 and 145. And Hannah Russell with a 147 and 143. The girls are now 10 and 2 and fought the entire time against a tough Claymont team. The boys varsity bowling team set a new school record with a score of 2660 to 2173. High individual scores for Nathan Kelly with 194 and 249. Alfred Todd with 223 and 206. Anthony DeMarco with a 206 and 184. Josh Higgins with a 192 and 187. And Logan Sims with 147 and 224. The boys record is now 11 and 1. We are beyond proud of all of our bowlers. Today, Coed Varsity Bowling is home against Martins Ferry. Boys Middle School Basketball is away against Indian Creek. Girls Varsity Basketball is home against Buckeye Local. And Girls Middle School Basketball is home against Indian Creek. Attention seniors. Anyone interested in participating in the senior winter play, please come to Mr. Grant's room, B209, for a brief meeting tomorrow during homeroom. We are part proud of Thomas Brown for working hard in Mr. Loxon's class and then helping others after finishing his own work. Due to illness, gaming club is canceled for today. Potter football off-season lifting will be on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at the Patterson Field weight room from 3.15 to 5 o'clock. Students without a ride will be transported to the weight room via their everyday bus. Please feel free to contact Coach Ludwig with questions. If you aren't participating in a winter sport, we expect to see you there so we can continue to build and be the best we can in 2020. Go Potters! Seniors. The candy sale has begun. Stop in room B217 to get your candy today. If you are a junior male student who is interested in attending Buckeye Boys State for a week in June, stop in Mrs. Pippo's office ASAP to pick up an application. Applications are due back to Mrs. Pippo by tomorrow. Thank you and have a wonderful day. All right. Thank you, Brandon. I'm Lance, and I am joined by Dallas. How you doing today? Good. All right, that's good. <sighs> All right. So, definitely seems like there's more on the announcement since last time I uh, I uh, did the morning show. Which is definitely nice, because there's more to talk about now. Hmm. But, um, start out with, happy birthday to James Cross. And, uh, unfortunately, the girls' varsity bowling lost to Claymont. It was, uh, 1,823 pins us, 2,290 pins them. But, among the things, we, uh, yeah, from the looks of things, they did really good. That they tried. And um, boys varsity team, they set a new record of 2,066, what? Of 2,660 pins up against Claymont's 2,173. Which is definitely good. Um, Alright. The their record is now 11 and 1 which is pretty good I have to admit that also we're now joined by Nikki how you doing dead I know I know how you feel 
I'm just blech. <laughs> Some there's still plenty of sports stuff over the rest of this week. The only event that is at 4 p.m. today is Coed Varsity Bowling, home against Martin's Ferry High. And then the rest of these are all at 5.30. Foy's Middle School Basketball away against Mid- Indian Creek Junior High. Uh, girls Varsity against... Uh, yeah, it's girls varsity basketball, home against Buckeye Local. And then lastly for today is a uh, girls middle school basketball, home against Indian Creek Junior High. Tomorrow, we got a to-be-announced time for a um, boys varsity wrestling. And it is uh, away against uh, Brook High School and uh, Barnesville. And then um, Saturday, we got a to-be-announced time for um, the Boys Middle School Wrestling BMC Tournament away against Beaver Local Middle School. We also have a to-be-announced time for the co-ed varsity swimming away against um, St. Clairsville High School, the Buckeye at Wheeling Jesuit. Uh, that is a lot of stuff to say, but there's still three more. Woo. Um, Keep it going. Yeah. At 10 a.m., we got the boys middle school basketball away against Richmond Edison Junior Senior High School. At 12 p.m., we got girls varsity basketball home against East Palestine High School. And then at 5.30 p.m., we got the boys varsity basketball away against Carrollton High School. And that is all of the sports-related events that will be going on from today through Saturday. Yay. <laughs> Man, I'm not really having such a good morning right now. Mm. I recommend everyone to be safe no matter what they're doing. All right, so um, for some of the student announcements, like, like what was said, due to illness, gaming club is canceled for today. Sadness. <laughs> um, once again, Potter football off-season lifting. They will be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at the Patterson Field weight room from 3.15 to 5 p.m. And... Um, for seniors, the senior candy sale starts, and you have to um, stop in room B217 to get your candy after third period. Um, and then if you are a junior male student who's interested in attending Buckeye Boys State for a week in June, um, stop into Mrs. Pippo's office as soon as you can to pick up an application. And uh, the applications are due back to Mrs. Pippo by Friday the 10th, so tomorrow. Wait, I got a question. What is Buckeye's Boy State? I actually don't know. Oh, that's interesting. And you could probably ask Mrs. Pippo once you stop in. So, I don't really know what it actually is, though. So. What are you going to do, right? Yeah. All right. And now. So, Dallas, what's the weather for us today? Well, it's 18 Fahrenheit and 43 degrees Celsius. Woo. Uh, so, cold one, huh? Mm-hmm. It looks like it's going to rise up today. And then go right back down, so. Who knows? And this computer is <laughs> not being nice, but that is perfectly okay. Also, even though it is absolutely freezing out right now, it's going to get all the way up to 44 degrees. 
So that is definitely going to be nice. Yeah, for a hot second. And um, for tomorrow, it'll be a low of 53 and a high of 56. So it's going to be pretty warm that day. But Saturday, uh, it's definitely not January weather. A low of 50 and a high of 67. So Saturday is going to be really nice out. Although, it, from the looks of things, it, there will be a little bit of raining. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a decently high chance of rain um, throughout Saturday. It's also fairly high chance during Friday. That's all right. Sunday, it's going to be cloudy and a uh, low of 35, high of 55. Yeah, but it looks like thurs next Thursday we're going to have snow. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be really nice. From now until Wednesday. Like Wednesday will be the last day that it'll be nice in a row. There we go. It's tragic. Sorry. But that's because it goes from on Wednesday, a high of 49 and a low of 35, to Thursday, a high of 39 and a low of 24. So that is going to be blah. But what are you going to do? Can't do anything about it. Yeah. yeah. You can just be prepared to see what the weather's going to be like. Yeah. All right. All right. What else do you guys want to talk about? Dallas, you see the new Star Wars yet? You have. So, what do you think about it? Is it good, bad, or eh? Oh, you think it was bad? Well, most people say it, it brought back the franchise. You, you want to explain? Well, I saw the new Star Wars movie, and it wasn't good. Well, what didn't you like about it? Without spoiling. Yeah, yeah you can't give any spoilers. Well, I won't spoil it. I'll just say I didn't like the ending. Oh, I agree. I oh, agree okay. with him on that one. All right, that's a fair point. But, um... I mean, the action scenes were nice. Some of them. I mean, I was lost in some of them, but it was okay. Hmm. Uh, honestly, I didn't even know that there was a new Star Wars movie. The last yeah. thing I know of was The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. No, it was called, what, Star Wars, The Last of the Skywalkers or something? Oh, like Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, I was thinking that there's apparently going to be another one in 2022 or something. I don't know. It did something stupid like that, but, um. But you know what? It's okay. The best movie franchise right now mm -hmm. is Marvel. I can see that. And I've never been too much into Marvel or Star Wars, so I can't really say anything about that. But, yeah, I, I can see Marvel being pretty much number one, and then Star Wars coming in close with Rise of Skywalker being the newest one. True. But this question is for you two. Who do you think will win, Goku or Darth Vader? We've already had this discussion. Who do you say, Dallas? Yeah, I'll let you go first. Well, I'm not changing my mind. Darth Vader. Lance. I'd have to say Goku because... He's Let little. me explain my reasoning first, Dallas, before you go crazy on me. <laughs> um, Goku, from what I have heard of or have seen, he can move at like the speed of light pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. And he can teleport pretty much. Um, 
he can beat the crap out of pretty much anything. Because didn't in one of the enemies he beat up a god or something? He fought plenty of gods now. Well, there you go. He's fought gods, and he's like, hey, I'm still kicking. He still he has a power level of a god now. Yeah. He can he he has a transformation that is technically a god form. Hmm. And um. And now, I know what you're gonna say. Vader is gonna use the force on him because there's no way that Goku can move before he uses the force. Ooh. But Goku um, proved that so many times. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that when you move at the speed of light, you can't... Someone can't move their arms at that speed. Hey, so if you went to point A from point B at the speed of light, turned around at point B, and went back twice the speed of light, would you see yourself coming? Wait a minute. If you're in point A, and you're going to point B, and you travel twice the speed of light, turn around at point B, and then head straight back, would you see yourself coming? Dude, I, Just a question, talking about hmm. speed of light, and, you know, weird things. So, I, feel, I feel like that's like a flash question. I that's mean, I don't know about that. I mean, probably. You figure that out, man. I... How am I supposed to figure that out? Like, run? Do you want me to run? <laughs> speed of light? You go in a straight line at the speed of light, and you turn around, twice the speed of light, turn around and come back. Do you meet yourself, like, halfway? I mean, there's a possibility. You run into a time paradox. Yeah, it could be, like, an infinite loop. It would be kind of interesting. And then here's the big question. Would you see yourself on the way there, or only on the way back? Well, there's a time paradox there so because, fans, like, are you stopping at any point, or are you just no, you're your... turning around and coming back. Well, then you're gonna only see yourself at the second. Yeah, time. you only see yourself because the second if time. You're running at twice the speed of sound on one way on speed your of way light. back. Speed of light. That one. The speed of light. <laughs> when you're on your way back, you'll be running faster because you never lost your momentum. To start it, you'd have to start running. Well, you're not running. You're you're on a spaceship. Oh, okay. Oh, well, you didn't, well yeah, you didn't say that. You're making it sound like the Flash over here. All right, so if the Flash was running... Then, yes, he'll, he'll see it himself. Twice the speed he, of he, light. he does it all the time. He, he runs himself into a time paradox. Yeah, he does it all the time, though. Time Which is weird. But it is the weird. deal of it is, he only sees himself on the way there when he's heading back. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. Okay. He does it all the time, though. He does. All the time. Okay, we need to get uh, some uh, scientists yeah. or something to figure this out. Well, geez, I didn't want my brain to overload right now, Croxel. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, though. I mean, what are you going to do, though? But, um, it's a... Well, today was a little bit longer morning show for everyone. So, before we wrap things up, anything you two would like to say? Like I always say, have a good day. <laughs> On my you, Nicky. Chicken. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, okay. All right. I'm going to have a great day.